Hello, <laughs> and welcome to Waco, Texas. I'm your tour guide, um, Paige Wassel, and obviously you know that because you clicked on my channel. Um, but if you don't know me, um, I guess I have nothing to say about that, but we are here in Waco, Texas. Take a look, take a look. Look at this. It's actually kind of hot out. People are watching me. But as you can see, those are the silos behind me. <laughs> and what is, in, what is in the silos? What do you think, coffee for the Magnolia Press? But yeah, this is where we are vacationing. We're on a business trip. My friend Kate is with me. She's filming me. And in return, I'm buying her beer and food. And listen, we are here to explore and immerse ourselves in this culture. We're not here to shit on it. And maybe a few critiques, but we're gonna explore the silos. We're gonna go to the hotel. We're gonna eat at the restaurant. We're gonna go to the coffee shop. We're gonna, <laughs> there's so many things. We're gonna go to the Magnolia store. And then maybe that like house, Cottonland, that they, that they uh, renovated. We didn't get into the hotel, so we're not staying at the hotel. Where are we staying? We're staying at the Pivo Bar, which is basically right here. But anyways, let's take a little tour. Um, we could, uh, should we start in the stores? We also could tour the food trucks. I don't know. This is the stay and play. There's so much to discover here in Waco, Texas, you guys. Watch. Can you walk around the silos drinking? Because then that would be game changing, wouldn't you think? It's like, what are the rules here? What are the regulations? Wait, look, a soccer ball. Watch this. Listen, if you haven't watched my review on Cottonland, you can actually book a tour. Are we gonna do that? Probably not, because we have other things we wanna do. Okay. <laughs> we will say we love the, the landscaping, wouldn't you say? Look at this, it's like a little town. Where should we go in first? Like, what's in here? What is this? Is this a church? Okay, we can't go in there. Let me put on my sunnies. Y'all, I gotta, because I have bangs now, bangs brush. Do you think they need a little brush? Yeah, I mean, just at least for the... Well, it's for the content. She loves it. We're gonna go to the shop and then we're coming back to this little village. And then beer number two. Sorry, YouTube. Get, get me with this. I actually really love Waco, Texas already. And I, I actually love this. I'm converted. I'm a huge fan. Listen, as two hipsters from Los Angeles, this is out of our comfort zone. But also, weirdly feels very in our comfort zone. And now we're going into Magnolia Home. I wonder if they're a little shop. Can we go to that? I don't know. We have to, we have to be discreet. This is Magnolia Home. And I don't love filming in public, so this is kind of odd. I will say, what do you, what do we like the most? I actually kind of like these chairs. And what is this? Autographs, autograph book, vintage. It's like if this was vintage, it would be good. And I feel like that was my main critique of the, um, the hotel was like everything was supposed to like, everything looked vintage, but it wasn't. And that's my critique. This is cute. This is actually vintage probably. 350 bucks, which it is vintage. And it's a cute little corner seat. I think so, you don't think so? I guess that looks good. This is, I think like, you know when stores have like a mix? Yeah. And it'll be like their products plus, oh, who does that? Rejuvenation. Like this is cute too. Yeah, that is really cute. 350. We are going to, what's it called? The Round Top, the Round Top um, Antique, antique market, Fair tomorrow. So that will be fun. But also, come over here. I was just talking about this. 
on a video that I'm obsessed with a game table. Yeah, it is so cute. Isn't it cute to like have two chairs and then we can just play games? The dream, well, here, we can prop style. The dream is to, <laughs> is to have a king bed. When I get a boyfriend, I'm getting a king bed and that's on God, so. It's real, it's real. All right, let's move along. I will say, I like when a dining chair or a dining table has like a big chair at the end on each side. You know what I mean? I think it looks good. Also, this is actually a really good spot. I feel like if you needed like gifts, like housewarming gifts, yeah. you could come here. And I will say, I do feel like I thought it was gonna feel more Target than it's coming off. Like it still definitely feels like you could get some of this stuff in Target, but it feels different at the same time. But yeah, this is kind of Target. Salt and pepper. You know when you name something? They really have done it all. Recipes. They really have done it all. It feels like a like we're in like a Disneyland for this type of interior design. This is where you would come for a weekend getaway. Is this a butter bell? There's this way you put like butter. Butterbell. Yeah, these are cute. Yeah. I like the colors, like chartreusey. You know, mm -hmm. sold. That piece of art is fun. We love it here. All right, let's go to the food trucks. I feel like we. Could, I want to get a beer, another beer, and maybe, maybe a little snack. Yeah, no, I don't like filming in public, especially in a store. So let's go. I think this would be cute like in a bathroom and you put it like against the wall and you have like your towels stacked on it. I do like this. I like a lot of their vintage stuff. And like the table. That yeah. Was the table. Oh my God. How much? 3,000. I mean, that's kind of standard though. Well, if it's vintage, yeah. And it is. Yeah. A quick review as we walk over to the food trucks, which we're hoping there's a beer truck. Kate and I were discussing that we think that the whole shopping experience would be better if they mixed in more vintage. It's just a little sparse. And I just feel like the merchandising, if I'm critiquing, we have to give our critiques. I think the merchandising is just bleh. And this whole area is so beautiful that I think just that store needs a little help. And like more stuff maybe, the I don't know. With the new and the vintage is with the vintage. Yeah, yeah. The stuff we liked the most was the vintage stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting shy, I'm getting camera shy. Um, all right, let's check out these food trucks. Food trucks, were, which we're going to, um, stage, which I could put on a performance, if asked to. Wait, baking? There's so many things here. This is Disney World for- It really is. For like, what is it for? Like people who love, like a candle? People that are like tickled by aesthetic. If you're tickled by aesthetic, Come to Waco, Texas. All right, come with me. <laughs> okay, all right, well, you want me to like guide? Listen, Kate is wearing a panda on her shirt. I just have to show. Two pandas right here in Waco, Texas. She fits right in. That aesthetic, people love it. People are staring. We already got a compliment on our, on our outfit. We went and tried Dutch Bros, which didn't have food, which was interesting. And someone immediately gave us a compliment, and we were like, <laughs> oh, and then we went to Whataburger, and we got onion rings and fries. So that's all we've had today, onion rings and fries, and I've had a chai tea and a matcha and a beer. It's like, Jesus Christ. Um, I just feel like they're not going to have booze. It feels like they're just not going to, and it's upsetting. Let's ask. Oh, yeah, we have a free ticket to the brewery. Let's do that. Okay. Goodbye. And check it out. There's a photo booth because we need a photo booth at all times. She's already in there. She's so excited. <laughs> She's going by herself. All right. I have to put on these sunnies because I'm, I'm tipsy. <laughs> Coming into the courtyard. This feels like in college, did we ever have like a, what's like that thing where you like gathered in the middle of the campus? Anyways, this is turf. And that's all I gotta say. But you know what? 
you got to do what you got to do. And we did pop in a lot of the shops, but I don't feel like we should film in them because it's just too tiny, you know? So there was like a clothing shop. What was there? Clothing, accessories, a plant shop. What was over here? We haven't gone in these. I think candle. Candles, bath and body works. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bed, bath and beyond. <laughs> That's a Sprint and that's a T-Mobile, actually. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up that they did that. It's actually messed up. I feel like now that I watch Giggly Squad a lot, I do feel like I'm... I, something about me that you should know. And you can attest to this and actually tell me if this is true, Kate. But I will, like, morph to the way people talk. Like, do you ever notice I'll, like, morph to how Andy talks sometimes? And then MK, if I'm around MK, I'll talk like her. And then recently I've been talking a lot like Paige DeSorbo. I'm obsessed with Paige Sorbo and Hannah Burner, so you can send that to them. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, my eye, my pupils are a little drunk looking into the lens, no? A little bit? Okay, keep, keep following me. Oh, there's men on the baseball court, you guys. The baseball court. <laughs> but I do want to go on there and do one bat, you know? Would you ever do that? No. Uh, do you think they would let me? Do I have drunk eyes? No, they look normal. Recording now. Uh, it's recording? Yeah. We're at the baseball. Oh, look! That could have been me. We're at the baseball courts, and I do want to hit a bat. I want to do one. Don't you think I could ask them? Do you think you could get married in this church? This is this where you want to get married? Wow. I mean, it's pretty, but like, it's a little touristy, I would say, to be like, hey, we're gonna get married. But people get married at Disneyland. It's like getting married at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> people get married at Disneyland all the time. Okay, and then there's, this is Magnolia Table. Let's see. I do feel like biscuits and gravy. Oh, look, a nursing mother's room. It's pretty nice. What do you think? What about nursing fathers? Well, they can't <laughs> lactate. <laughs> Come into the courtyard. Come into the grassy knoll. <laughs> Which is actually a bad joke. Bad joke. It's a stunning day here at Magnolia Castle. Was that good? <laughs> okay, here's Jimmy Don's. First off, why do they have a lot of squares right here? Pretty fun. But, oh yeah, it is iron designs. I thought it was maybe wood. That's a live, laugh, love design if I've ever seen it. Yeah, they do like signage. I thought he built tables. Oh. 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 And we're on. And now we're in downtown Waco. And look at it, it's Hotel 19. 28? Can't ever remember. It is. Sure it. Yeah, uh huh. I can tell because I reviewed it and I know by the awnings. But it's just, a, it's just a stunning night tonight. And just walking around Waco, we were like, this is pretty fun. It kind of reminded me of Lansing, Michigan in a way, like the Texas version of Lansing. But we actually don't know if it's comparable or not. <laughs> can't, can't recall. But we're going to grab a bite at the brasserie. Um, before we go up and eat at um, Birdie's. But wait, do you see up there the like chandelier? That's the wedding venue. Oh, cool. So I'm, I'm telling Kate that and you, I guess. I you all? <laughs> um, oh my God. And we're desperate for food because we've had, Careful. I know I just ran into that. Um, we've had onion rings and fries and that. chai. No, we're, we're, I'm so hungry and I'm tipsy. We should have eaten more by now. We, yeah. Well, in L.A., it's three. Still. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, so let's go get some food. I want a full steak. <laughs> I want a full steak. And then after we eat, then we will go through the hotel. Oh, my God, look at this. What is that? Oh. That's just a flower. Dahlia's. Dahlia. Wow, I wonder if we can get into the wedding venue. Because wouldn't that be kind of fun to do? For you, yeah. For yeah. Wedding. For my wedding... I'm getting married in Waco. Gotta get a boyfriend first. I'm very nervous to be filming in public. There's too many people. But we did just eat at the brasserie. And now we're gonna go down into the library 
And there are some people down here. But I will say, I do have to say that it does look pretty good in person. It's bare, but I don't know. I totally thought it was going to be like way cheaper feeling. And it doesn't feel like that. And then they have these um, magnifying glasses. Uh, so you can read this book. <laughs> Do not touch. Okay. <laughs> I was actually about to type on that. Okay, also, what a girl DM'd me on Instagram and was like, I did all the vintage art. And I do think the art turned out pretty nice, don't you think? Yeah. Look, horse. You're obsessed with horses. Obsessed. All right, let's go up these stairs. Should we try to get into the wedding venue? I feel like we should at least peek yeah, at it. Let's try. All right. All right, catch us, in a, catch us in a minute. And now we're off to the ballroom. And we do apologize. If there's people around, we're not good at filming. We're shy. We're really shy girls. But I do hope that we can get in here. Why, why are we in Waco? We don't know. Okay, it said ballroom. Housekeeping, catering. This is where you can have your wedding if you really want but it's booked out forever. And so is the hotel. Oh, okay, so this is like the reception place. It's like I know. Have you been here? Yep, and this is where you have a cocktail hour, as you can see. Actually, it's pretty cute. Like, yeah, so this is the ballroom. Let's see if we can get in. Oh my God, we can, and I don't feel like we're supposed to. Wow. Whoa. People would like this, don't you think? It's actually so much bigger than I, I pictured. And you go like this. And they're like, and now announcing Paige and the newlyweds. Gage. You think I'm gonna end up with a gauge? I know a gauge, um, but that's pretty much it. This is kind of cute too. I mean, hey, what's your signature cocktail that you'll serve at your wedding? <laughs> it is fun when people have a signature co cocktail, but I couldn't. I'd be like a dirty Shirley, a white Russian. That's perfect. <laughs> Both for you. <laughs> like, are you okay? Everyone has a stomachache. There it is, Magnolia Home. And there's the little uh, houses. Kate thought that all of this already existed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the silos, those thingies actually existed. And then this little town, I think, was built. But, you know, we could be wrong. And we will not fact check that, so please let us know. And then that's the John Don. That's John Don. Jimmy Don. Jimmy Don. Jimmy Don. And... That's pretty much it, beautiful. There she is. Welcome to Magnolia Press. No one's here, it's 7 a.m., first people here. Honestly, this is ideal, because I always need somewhere to work, and this looks like it's like a little library. But anyways, I, um, I ordered a matcha, so we'll see if that's good. Last night we went to, um, birdies on the rooftop and we didn't film any because we aren't vloggers and it's tough for us also they never gave me a cocktail ordered a cocktail never arrived it was it was it was sad and we, then we also had a salad at the the brasserie which was pretty good the salad and the um cowboy caviar was really good and then the dinner was okay if i'm giving an honest reveal you know oh and that's us we gotta go and now we're going to an antique fair and I'm gonna film there maybe. That's it. Matcha, honestly, I will give it an 8.2 out of 10. Kate, is your cappuccino good? Did you even sip it? Okay, anyways, we're gonna drive now two hours to the Round Top Antique Fair. Um, but we have enjoyed the silos and the home of Magnolia. And we're also going to a beer spa tonight, so. Um, all right, let me do my jump. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to this very small corner 
in the back of, or the front of my living room. Hold on, I need to turn down. We got back from Waco, what day is it today? It is, oh God, it's Thursday. And we got back from Waco on Saturday. I think Waco is an interesting town. Would I go there if I weren't filming this video? No, but it was a pretty pleasant time. Like I get why people would want to go. It's basically Disney World for people who love that style uh, or HGTV. I get it. There's nothing, you know, I can't shit on it. Something I noticed about going on these trips and filming is like, I have no actual schedule or idea of what we're gonna film. Like after two beers, I was like, all right, we're good. Like we got the content. I don't love filming in public, so I do need to kind of like tweak that. What would you have liked to see more of, I guess? It was really just like me running around in, in Waco. Um, but I liked, I liked filming that. I just need to be more comfortable in public. And like, I think I need to like put a checklist together of like everything we need to get. We did go to Round Top Antique, the Round Top Antique Fair when we were out there. That's kind of why we went to Waco. Cause I was like, let's go to Waco. I pitched the idea to Kate and then she was like, oh, we should go when it's the Round Top Antique Fair. And they have one in the winter, spring, summer, and the winter one is smaller. And that's the one we went to. So we didn't film anything at the Round Top Antique Fair. Cause again, we're scared. I'm scared to film in public. I want to show you what we got at the Round Top Antique Fair. Again, we had to keep everything pretty small because we traveled with two suitcases and like some duffels but we had to keep we couldn't buy like furniture so i think next time we were talking kate and i are like we should go to more antique fairs around the u.s or wherever and i think we need to fly in and then drive back got this tiny little pillow pretty cute i kate and i when we buy things unless like it's very specific of who found it or wants it otherwise we kind of just buy things and then decide later so i do think kate could have this even though she did get this giant blanket that I really love. I think she wants to put it on her bed, but it's so good. And it does go with this pillow. I think she should take them both. I think it's actually kind of cute that they go together. This little bench, we both kind of saw, I think Kate might've eyed it first. And then I was like, I want it. She wanted it. We just, we didn't care. We just, it's a shared custody bench now, which is interesting. Kate also got this. Um, it's like a little table runner. This like Welch fabric, I think is gonna be very popular. We saw a lot of it at the antique fair. Oh, this is just a sweater. A sweater that I'm giving back to Kate that I borrowed. What else did we get? Oh yeah. I bought this little piece of art. Little bird. I think it was like a little French boy drew it or something. It's a really good frame. I don't know, I could switch out the art. I have a few pieces of art I need to get framed actually. But yeah, isn't the frame good itself? Just like a little burl. Also don't know where to put this. Maybe this can go here too. My favorite purchase, is that really everything we got? Oh, Kate did get this little chair, but I didn't, uh, I forgot it at her house. I was like, I wanna borrow all this stuff so I can film what we got. But I did leave the chair, but look how cute is that little chair. But these, these are my, my pride and joy. Aren't they fun? And we bought them from, such a nice lady that we just enjoyed chatting with. They give me like Florida vibes and I feel like you have to have a touch of Florida in your house. Like you have you have to have a touch of Florida. It's just a rule. But yeah, it was honestly such a fun trip. I want to go on more trips where we can, you know, check out some type of I don't know what 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 would be fun to go check out like in the world of interiors you know don't just like send me to disney world even though i would go to disney world you have you seen the britney broski video where she visits epcot like the drink around the world video she made i don't know it was so funny i was like i could i could do that but this is that's not interior design focused so it actually doesn't make sense let me know where we should go next i kind of want to travel this year and you know see cool things let me tell you a few things that we never got to when we filmed okay yeah we stayed at the pivovar hotel because the magnolia hotel 1928 was all booked 
and the pivovar is like a beer focused hotel so we did we did go to a beer spa which here's like here's a little clip from it welcome to beer spa we didn't film any footage at um the antique fair but apparently we'll just film in this beer spa hold on pretty good anyways we're in a couple's beer spa and we have it for an hour and we're just gonna lay in these tubs i was thinking to myself i was like i should have brought the ipad oh my god i could go back i could go back up it's fine we have so much time to watch tv anyways we're gonna soak in these tubs full of beer and drink beer and i don't know what else we're gonna do it's like do i go on my iphone or do you want to talk <laughs> anyways this is beer spa and we'll let you know how it goes after Wait, should I show him my shoes? Look at the romance. And these are my Gucci's. Wait, I, fit, I can fit into them. I can fit into them. If I, sometimes I'm too bloated, but this is my outfit. We get fucked up tonight. And everyone keeps asking us, like, what was the, why did you guys go to a beer spa? We don't know. And now I'm going to pick up some sofas, um, sofas, a sofa for this project I'm working on, which is pretty fun. And then I'm getting a bang trim because my bangs are kind of fucked up right now. Whatever. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot this thing. Hold on. Two other things to, sh to show you that I got. First, I got this belt. This was kind of <laughs> the first thing I bought when we got there. It was kind of one of those things when you get to an antique fair or whatever, you kind of need something to just break the seal of purchasing something. And it was like 15 bucks or something. And Kate and I both agree, you basically have to buy, maybe I necessarily wouldn't have bought this, but you kind of have to buy something to get, to get things moving. We also um, drank Palomas at like 10 a.m at the fair which was really fun because then you just have such a better time and then you buy more it's so smart to have a bar in the fair oh, i keep talking i'm talking a lot anyways i bought this thing this tiny little butcher bo block isn't it cute and it just stays right here and i prop style it little lemon a little knife Okay. Oh, and then look at these. These are funny, actually. Bought a Magnolia Press magnet because I'm a fan now. And then Kate and I did do a photo booth when we were there. Um, and then this one just has a photo of Chip and Joanna. So me and Kate and Chip and Joanna gains. Um, and this hangs on my fridge. And I see Chip and Joanna every morning now. Say, what's up, girl and guy? All right. Now that's it. I'm done talking. Goodbye. See you next week. Can I wear these with no socks? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. My ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a Gucci? They're so swollen. Try.